Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna to show you how to set up a virtual environment. So in the last video, we showed you how to download um, Anaconda, which includes Python. Um, I have another video too, talking about why I like to use Spider and how to install Spider, which we have used. Um, today, I'm gonna to get you guys set up now. So once you've step one installed Anaconda, um, you've installed Spider, and you're ready to program, um, you actually need to get your virtual environment set up, which I'll explain here in a second. And then you need to get all your packages kind of loaded, downloaded officially into that virtual environment. Um, and then you can start to write your code and then you can import everything here. So the reason we use a virtual environment um, is there is a lot of versioning going on inside of Python. So Python itself has a version. Um, there are all kinds of versions of Python coming out as updates and improvements are made over time. Um, packages as well have different versions across time. Now, when an update is made, it changes how um, Python or the package actually functions and operates. And something that you used in a package, it was a default setting, or even some sort of feature, something inside of a package that you're calling, it might not exist anymore. It might not work the same anymore. Uh, a lot of times there are things that are deprecated. So I've used functions inside of packages. I had code that was like a year or two years old. I went back, ran it on a different computer, and now it airs out and says these functions do not exist. Um, this is not actually a real function here. So again, creating virtual environments helps kind of create an environment, a shell kind of atmosphere or an environment uh, where everything is kind of one version. Everything will operate inside of that and you can prevent any issues or errors here. So if you look at uh, Anaconda Navigator here, you're going to see there are a bunch of different programs inside of this. Um, you'll notice though at the top here, that says base or root. That is just the standard wherever Python is installed at. If you install things over that, you could break Python. And yes, I have had colleagues have broken both Python and you've had to go in and reinstall the entire setup and everything. Um, if you work in a virtual environment, you do not have this issue. So let's just dive on in here and explain how to set up a virtual environment and how to use it. You can go into the environments box here on the left um, and it will show you what's installed. On the left here, you see it just has the base environment. I don't like using Anaconda's click and point environment here. Often I find it quite buggy and it not to work well. I know, I know many people hate Anaconda because of this. Um, but to start off, we're gonna hit start on the bottom left. We're gonna type in Anaconda and we're gonna look for the thing that's just called Anaconda prompt. I would right click and hit run as administrator. Then you're going to hit yes. We're gonna run it as administrator. And you'll see here, it's going to give you the location where your Python is installed at. My is in my C drive, my Windows, my system 32. But most importantly, notice it says base here. So this is the same as we saw right up here where it says base. Uh, we are in the base environment. Um, let's just create a new environment. You do not need to do this all the time. I have at work probably four different environments I operate in, uh, realistically like 99.9% of all of my programming occurs in just one environment because I kind of do the same job and the same task over and over again. Um, if I'm doing something very new, very unique, I might want to package it, I might create a second one. Um, but let's just create a quant, um, you know, virtual environment here. You can call it anything you want, but we're gonna type in conda and then we're gonna type in uh, create. And then we're gonna do dash n. This is gonna be the name of the environment we wanna call it. Again, you can call it anything you want. You could call it name. Um, I don't know, you can call it fancy. But today we are going to call it quant. We're going to have a quant uh, virtual environment here. And you could type in a bunch of other stuff like the exact version of Python that you want. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna run this and create a new virtual environment. We're gonna click enter. And it's gonna do some running of code to create this virtual environment here. It's gonna set up uh, the version of Python. It's gonna ask you some question. Do you wanna proceed? You're going to hit yes. And it created it, okay? Uh, now you'll notice we are still in the base version here of Anaconda. So we want to activate and get into that environment in itself. Um, if you wanna go back though here into Anaconda, you can click on uh, base. You now see there's quant. So if you click that and open it, it will open again all the different programs. Uh, if we scroll down here, you'll notice Spider's not installed. So let's click install on Spider real quick before we do our other packages. Um, this will take some time. So I'm gonna skip through the video here and just show you the screens quickly, but no worries. It will probably be a little bit slow. Okay, so that took forever. I don't know what happened with it. Just a little green circle spun around and then finally it just popped up and said launch here. We're gonna click launch and we're gonna open up Spider. 
Okay, and you should just see kind of this open blank uh, spider page here. And I just wanna show you guys that the packages aren't actually baked into Python. Some of them will be there, um, but many of you will use um, import pandas as PD. Uh, you'll also use import numpy as NP. So just to give you an example, we run these and it'll tell you no module named pandas. Um, again, if you run numpy, it'll do the same thing. No module named numpy. So this is gonna be frustrating for those that are new. You need to install this inside of that virtual environment. So if you went back and you went to the Anaconda prompt here that we were in earlier, we need to change this now and tell it to go into our virtual environment, Conda. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna type in Conda activate, and we're gonna say quant. And now you will see, it'll tell you that there's something called quant, it's the environment we're inside of. And now we're just gonna tell Conda, hey, go install the packages I want. So Conda, install um, pandas. And click enter. It will run through a bunch of this code and tell you this, it'll probably ask a question and we always hit yes. Proceed to install all of these other packages that it needs. It'll do this crazy thing, looks fancy, some lines, some percentages. All right, and now it's gonna tell me it's back in the quant virtual environment and it's flashing here. So we are back um, at our original starting point. The package now has been installed. Um, we're gonna install a few other ones that we're going to need. So we're also going to do conda install um, numpy. All right, it's not gonna ask me a question on there. And then we're gonna say, hey, conda, install uh, matplotlib. Uh, this is a library to do a bunch of plotting, so we're gonna need that. Yes, install this other stuff. Do some fancy math here, do some installs. Uh, and then finally, we're going to do uh, conda install um, date time. So date time I use quite a bit um, for time series or handling just dates in general. So we'll install that real quick. All right, and there we go. That is basically all we're gonna need for now. I'm just gonna minimize the screen, but anytime you need this, remember, go down here, click in, type Anaconda on your window navigator, uh, right click on your Anaconda prompt and run as admin. This will pop off, pop up in the base mode as usual. And then we're gonna type in Conda, activate, and then type in whatever your name is. So here we're using quant, but obviously we're already in quant. So that's how you're going to do any sort of install of new packages that you're going to need. Let's minimize that. Um, now we're just gonna run these. So let's run pandas and bam, it runs. See, there's no air that comes out, um, but I'm gonna run this one. It'll import that. So that is how you get your virtual environment set up, guys. Um, this is how you import data. Notice two of the really cool things that I like inside of Spider here. Um, these little triangles are just gonna tell you um, this package is being imported, but it's not being used. Now, if we did something below, like, I don't know, panda um, read CSV, even though there's nothing even in here, uh, the little orange triangle is gonna go away. Um, and if you used NumPy and typed in some sort of function with that, um, again, it's gonna go, to, go away here as well. So that is how you get the virtual environment set up. Um, subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. I will have more videos for data analysts or quants like myself who are just looking to learn the basics. So you're in grad school, you're at a new job, uh, maybe you're used to using C, C++, maybe Excel, MATLAB, SAS, something else. Um, these videos are really just here to get the basics down and how to get you going quickly to get your homework done or to get that project done. So anyways, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and as always, until next time.